So what is the difference between doing a bulk order first for your clothing brand and doing a pre-order first for your clothing brand? Let's actually talk about it, all right? So with that being said, right now, if you guys are looking at trying to start your clothing brand the right way, most people instantly go to how many pieces should I buy for my brand? How many uh, shorts should I buy? How many shirts should I buy? How many hoodies do I buy? And what I tell people because I started with pre-orders is that start with the pre-order method. Now I have multiple videos on my YouTube channel talking about the pre-order method. So I'm not gonna explain it too much right now, but I am gonna talk about the pros and cons of starting with uh, bulk and starting with a pre-order, all right? Now the first biggest pro of, or, or actually let's do cons, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do four lines here. <clears throat> so let's talk about it. So the first con for doing bulk is numbers. You don't know how much you, how many pieces you should buy, all right? So number of pieces. So you don't know how many number of pieces you should buy. So if you're starting off with shirts, you're starting off with shorts, you have no accurate data to go off of to go buy something, which means that you can either overspend or underspend. You never know how your brand is gonna pop off, right? So what I like to tell people is that with the pre-order method, right, you can always understand and know that no numbers needed, no number of pieces needed. Now, the reason you don't need it is because it's based off of the orders that are coming in. So when you're doing a pre-order, you don't have any in inventory here one of the cons is you have to hold the inventory which means guess what right let's say you do a regular drop and you're holding the inventory if it doesn't sell then guess what you're stuck to, stuck onto the inventory what if you have to move on to something else well, obviously you can run sales and get the inventory out or go do a pop-up shop or go to a mall and go try to sell it or whatever but you still got to go out of your way to go do those things with the pre-order right no inventory involved right so when you're doing your pre-order guess what you don't have to hold anything it's all based off of samples so for example let me explain if i have this shirt and if i was the person to start with bulk i would buy let's say 10 pieces of these shirts and i would be hand handed or you know it comes in from shipping or whatever right i would have these 10 shirts and i would have to go out and sell the 10 shirts right now i'll go into the pros of of bulk right however when you're doing the pre-order let's just say right or let's just say you do your sales your first your first launch what if you get more than 10 orders what if what if more people want it then guess what you can't give those people that demand until you get more items in which means you miss out on sales as opposed to pre-orders if there's more more people who want it you can literally for over a certain a period of time you can take in as many orders as you want because guess what you're going to just fulfill it within the time frame of the, that you give the man uh, the customers right so what that basically means now is that when it's time to go fulfill your orders guess what you don't have to worry about the inventory simply because guess what it based off of the amount of orders that come in so now what you can do is take that amount of orders you can go buy the inventory from your manufacturer and then you can just go fulfill those orders as opposed to this if more people want to buy your product guess what they cannot buy it because you don't have the inventory and if we were to flip the thing around right then guess what if you don't get a lot of orders with your pre-order guess what you don't lose out on any money and you're not sitting on any inventory that's one of the biggest benefits the second uh, con is you need upfront money you need upfront capital to do it this way now for a lot of my followers and a lot of people in my audience you may not have a crazy amount of money to risk because this is a risk in a sense right so this is why the pre-order method is the best no upfront money right the only money you need and again make sure you guys go check out the pre-order method video the only money you would need is for marketing if any because at the end of the day you guys can what I'll probably do is I'll make a video of me and my team doing something behind the scenes and we'll just show you guys how you can go about marketing your brand and doing a photo shoot with your iPhone I think that'll be something dope for you guys all right so we'll, we'll do that for you guys and if there's other videos you guys want comment it down below and we'll make sure we get to them all right so there's no upfront money um, and then there is upfront money needed and you don't have to risk that money with the pre-order Okay, so these are the biggest cons <clears throat> and these are the biggest pros. Okay, let's talk about the pros of doing both. So first one is fast shipping. Now, the reason this one is important is because right now in today's day and age, we are very used to quick shipping thanks to Amazon, right? So you can get a shipment within 24 hours, within three days, within two days by using Amazon. And most of these other brands who are holding inventory, Fashion Nova is the, the, all these other, you know, brands out there, right? Gymshark, you can get your items very quickly, but that's because they have warehouses, they have capital to move and hold inventory and they're moving pieces very fast so they can get things out faster than most right so the pros of doing bulk is that guess what you already have the inventory so you can instantly go ship it out as opposed to 
pre-orders, right? You don't have any of the inventory. So now it's going to take you maybe four to six weeks, right? It may take you four to six weeks to get these items to the customers. They might be upset. Maybe after the second week, they may want refunds. Let's say that the shipping gets extended for some reason. Let's say the order gets extended for some reason, or it's lost or something like now things are delayed and you already gave them a certain time frame. So that's one of the biggest things. I think a lot of new beginners get a lot of anxiety when it comes to this because you want to deliver things very quickly. However, I want to let you know I've done the pre-order method. I have a, a ton of students who have done the pre-order method as well, have done it successfully. People are used to waiting for things like that because it is a known method that a lot of people use. So with that being said, just keep that in mind, okay? <clears throat> so you got pros and your cons of pre-orders, right? In bulk, right? The second pro, the second pro is immediate marketing. Basically what I mean by immediate marketing means that when you have multiple of these items in, you can have photo shoots easier. Okay. As opposed to doing a pre-order method where you're only buying maybe one or two samples because the samples are a little bit more expensive. So that's another con, right? Doing the pre-orders samples are expensive. Now, in most cases, you're going to have to get some sort of sample anyways, right? So before you even do a, a bulk order or some type of pre-order, you're still going to have to pay for a sample, but the amount of samples you have to buy, if you're doing bulk is going to be different than the amount that you'd have to buy for pre-orders, especially uh, if it's if it's coming down to the type of marketing you're doing. So if it's a photo shoot and you got four different people modeling, this is going to by far be the cheapest and best route for you. And this is probably going to be the most expensive route for you. Okay. So these are some of the biggest pros and cons. Um, I think one of the other things that I would probably say is honestly, it, it really just depends on who you are and how you want to operate your brand and how much capital you have. So again, there's literally no wrong way to build your clothing brand. And that's what I want to tell you guys in today's video is that if you want to do it this way, <clears throat> feel free to do it that way. If you want to do it the pre-order way, feel free to do it that way. I teach you guys both ways on how to do it. And the best part about it is that there's a lot of brands who have been successful by doing it this way. And there's a lot who have been successful doing it this way. Okay. But at some point in time, I do believe you're going to have to learn about pre-orders and do one on your own because it's a great way for you guys to start leveraging new pieces and getting orders and money up front without having to actually wait for any sales right and that will probably be the last con is you have to wait for inventory now you're gonna have to wait for inventory for both anyways but guess what with this route you have to wait a little bit longer than this route. And the best part about doing pre-orders is that you can let a manufacturer know that it's a pre-order and you can have them expedite it or you can have them get things done a little bit faster. If you want to like, you know, pay an extra fee to get it done faster, that is definitely something that you can check out. Okay. So this is the differences between bulk and pre-orders for a clothing brand owner. I personally believe that pre-orders is going to be probably the best route for a lot of you guys out there. Um, however, bulk definitely works for a lot of people as well. So it really just depends on you and how you want to operate your brand. After you do your first pre-order, you're still going to have to go bulk anyways. And after you do your bulk order, at some point, you're going to want to do pre-orders. So at the end of the day, you need to learn both mechanics and how to operate within them at the same time. Okay. So with that being said, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys smash the like button and hit the subscribe button. Okay. We're going back to two videos a week instead of doing one video a week. So with that being said, we're going to be pushing out way more information, way more game. We got more ideas up my sleeve. We post every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern and every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you guys have some popcorn. Make sure you have your notebook out and make sure you guys come ready to learn because we're dropping nothing but game. And let me know what other videos you guys want to see from myself. And I would love to go ahead and present more stuff on the whiteboard and more, uh, you know, answers and solutions to those of you who are just starting out. So it's your boy Dantes Akram, aka The Real Tez. Make sure you guys go jump into Limitless Investments. It's the number one clothing brand Discord server in the world. So if you want to join over 9,300 other members. The link will be down below in the description. Make sure you guys go ahead and jump in and I'll see you guys in the next YouTube video. Peace.